makes me smile every time I turn the corner and I come here and I see the back of it just there waiting to be worked on. Progressing day by day. So chuffed, almost there. Hello everyone, welcome back to WA UK. Bit of a trailer update video today. Uh, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If you do, you will have seen a couple of pictures of this. This is the unit I've been building since last Wednesday. It's Wednesday again today, a week on from, from the first Instagram picture where you will have seen this little unit that I built that houses all the switches. Not gonna be able, I don't think, to get it on the ground in the barn because it's quite dirty. Um, so I'm gonna get it fitted in the trailer and then I'll bring you in and show you how it's been fitted and everything. Got to drill a quick hole in the bottom so the uh, the wires can come up through that are going to go to the switch unit. Also houses a bit of a chest on top that you can open and put some store. I'll show you. It'll be easier to show you later. Uh, I've also got some timber in the back to start some shelving in the kitchen. So I'm going to take some measurements. I've still got my friend's circular saw so I'll be able to cut them when I go home. Uh, I'm not going to do it here because it's quite residential and I don't want to disturb everyone. Anyway, um, I will crack on right now. I'll do some um, s some filming as I'm going along, where I can, and uh, I'll keep you all posted. Thank you for joining me. Bright light, let's go. So that's some sort of idea how it's gonna be fitted, guys. It just slips in there nicely. There was another pun. It fits in there, I'll, I'll rephrase it. It fits in there nicely. Uh, it's gonna be bolted to the floor and to the side wall. I'm just gonna push it in right at the back because there's a bit of, ga bit of a gap down there, but I just wanted to give you a quick look to see what it's all gonna be like. The little switch unit, I'm hoping you can see, it's just there. I've just got to drill a hole under there so I can run the wires up to the back of it. And this here, I'm going to try and do this with the light, all opens, measured it. And that's how I'm going to fix it in. I'm going to put a couple of brackets to there, a couple of brackets to there and make it all look, all look lovely. Uh, stuff I don't really need is going to go to, the, go, go to the back in there. I don't know if you can see that way to the back down there. Stuff I don't need, uh, spare tarps, maybe a spare bivvy, just spare stuff just in case anybody's stuff gets damaged when, when they turn up at a camp. So stuff just to help other people out will just go far in there and then stuff that I use regularly will be right under the door. Um, also the whole point of this was, close that, in the cold winter months when we're camping, 
a bit of luxury we've got a little gas heater uh, obviously that's not going to stay on overnight or anything that's just going to be used to warm the the trailer up either in the mornings or at the nights when you're getting in to get undressed to get in bed we obviously have a carbon monoxide um, alarm that was one of the very first things I fitted uh, gotta keep it safe I don't want to die in my sleep or anything crazy like that anyway I'm gonna crack on so guys back at the barn Sunday the 15th of April 2018 a few days have gone by now since I've filmed the beginning of this video uh, but I wasn't happy with the outro so I thought I'd come back on the Sunday um, and and just film a better outro I got totally engrossed in what I was doing and time flew by and I had uh, somewhere to be so I had to quickly rush the ending um, but I'll do a quick summary and I'll let you know what we're doing today um, hopefully you'll enjoy it All right let's just get straight into it so let me get a torch out of my pocket and you will see down here that the unit is completely fitted sorry let's widen this a little bit so you can see what's going on the unit is completely fitted it's uh, all screwed in it can't move it's all very very secure now the unit has two sections to it let's see if I can get down and show you it this is going to be quite difficult I do uh, apologize for the awkward angles there's the switch unit all wired in we've got the voltage meter there reading 11.8 volts which is what it's on and on the top of the unit sorry about the really bad lighting it's dark in here today it's a bit overcast let's put that just there and we've got the chest section of the unit as well and as I say that's all screwed in uh, the bit I got engrossed with let's go back out was the wiring of the switches obviously I had to uh, go through to a fuse box which I've forgotten to bring the fuses actually stupid me um, but I have got two temporary fuses in there that I've robbed out of my Land Rover um, but all the switches are in um, if I do a little bit of this, if I can find the switches, leaning at them, you can see that all the lights are working and you can probably hear the switch going on the microphone. Um, and I'll turn them all on and give you a quick circle motion of the whole trailer with all the lights on. So, red light, which is going to be the, the door illuminator if you will, it's going to be on at night time, it's on its separate switch. I might put another internal light, another red one, uh, in due time wired to the same switch. You just saw the, the side lights, which when the awning is, is out, it's going to light up underneath the awning. Uh, they're on a switch of their own. We've got the kitchen lights, which are on a switch of their own. And we've got these lights, again, which are on a switch of their own. Um, these lights, I don't imagine being used that much, but it's on the odd occasion where somebody wants to camp and pitch a tent in the dark next to this side of the trailer. So I've, I've really put them up for somebody else, not for me, uh, thinking, thinking for other people as usual. So let me go and switch these, uh, switch these switches off before I run my battery totally down. Although we've got the solar panels, we're under cover here, so they won't be getting much charge. It just keeps it topped off, it doesn't overcharge it, which is perfect. Uh, today's plan is going to be a uh, very very uh, short little video because I'm actually going to be filming another video for my channel which was requested by a, by a subscriber which uh, yeah you'll have to click on it will be uploaded more or less the same time as this but today's plan is I've been at home this week every night after work I've been trying to put together some some shelves for this for this uh, cupboard here obviously this cupboard and this cupboard are going to have the doors that open either way outwards uh, this cupboard is just going to be some some leaning shelves maybe so you can put stuff on and it falls to the front with something to catch them some sort of barrier on the front to catch them uh, that's today's plan so it's going to be very very short-lived but I'll show you them um, as soon as I finish them so it'll probably be a few seconds for you and probably four hours for me knowing my rate of work but yeah no worries I hope you enjoyed that little summary of, of what we did on Wednesday um, and I, I'll just crack on and get these shelves quickly done and then I'll start filming the other video that I've got plans for also the roof linings come down on the Land Rover I need to stick that back on again uh, we had a lovely day yesterday I think the heat's making the uh, the glue tacky so if any of you have got any ideas what I can use to stick the uh, it's like an acoustic carpet quite a thick acoustic carpet on the ceiling if you will on the inside of the roof of the Land Rover um, just please do leave a comment below because I'm curious to find something better than the carpet spray glue because it's just not doing it Right, thank you very much, and uh, I'll bring you back in a second.
داره بخش So hopefully you got a bit of that. Just screwing in the shelf right now. One on the other side to do, and then I'll tilt it up at the back to have it a little bit of an angle. And we'll put these on the front to stop my food jumping out or my storage stuff, the stuff I've got stored falling out. I might have to make them a little bit more narrow, so I'll take them home and work on them. But it's all working well, the idea is coming alive. So here we are with the completed shelf guys, slightly leaning forward so all the stuff falls to the front. I do need to cut a little one by one slat just to put halfway along, just there, just so the food doesn't fall off in transit. I had full intentions of putting another bottom shelf in, uh, same sort of idea, slanted forward, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Uh, I am going to put a slat, a slat across the bottom as well, just to stop food falling and the stuff falling when we're in transit. But I don't think there's any need for that one to be slanted. I can quite easily reach to the back. Whereas that, with it being high up and me being vertically challenged, I can't really reach to the back. So that was the idea behind that. So uh, yeah, that's that little job done for the day. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of tidying up now and and finish this project off for the day and just go on to the other little secret project that I've got just over yonder. Um, so I really do hope you've enjoyed the, the, the little progress videos that I've made over the past few days. Um, it is, I'm just walking around it now so you can get a general overview of it. Um, yeah, it, it, it's coming on nicely. I mean, as I, as I said at the beginning of, of this segment, it's now Sunday the 15th of, of April. 2018 so we've got a few more days left till the overland show which i'm hoping this is going to be more or less complete um i am thinking of one more upgrade um i've not actually had what did what did rich call it the not so tough trek out yet um but when i bought the trailer off which he gave me some upgraded bits that needed putting on um now i'm thinking in my head do i really want to be messing about with this and, and repairing this when i can just get another far better uh, one and just upgraded now i'm thinking of a howling moon i think it's called the swing on uh it's, it's a freestanding one you don't have to put the legs out um, so I'm thinking that as an upgrade. Um, I'm hoping they're going to be down at the over. I've never been to the Overland, uh, so I'm hoping they're going to be there, and I can take a look at it um, and obviously get it a little bit cheaper as a show price. But um, yeah, I'm thinking as an upgrade and as a treat to myself for being such a good lad and finishing this on time. Um, I might buy one of them. It's just a free. You don't have to put the legs out unless the weather's bad and it's windy. You don't have to put the legs out. You literally just open up the awning and march it out, march it right the way around the vehicle, and then you've got like a strap that will attach on the roof rack just here and it stretches it and keeps it taut and then if, if you so choose and the weather's bad you can put the legs out and put some guy ropes down on, on on the legs to hold it but that's what i'm thinking in my tiny mind um yeah let me know thoughts let me know if you've got one of them awnings and, and you're happy with it um i'm just thinking as ease i mean this is a one man a one man uh, expedition trailer or overland trailer or bug out trailer or whatever you want to call it. It needs to be able to be set up with one man. This thing, better with two, can be done with one, 
better with two, difficult with two. My mate has one of these on his Land Rover, very, very similar to this, and they're a pain to do on your own. Whereas that one where you just concertina out, far easier. Right, anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe, grow the channel a little bit more. We've uh, just gone over the 200 subscribers mark, which I'm so chuffed about, very, very chuffed about. Click that subscribe button, help me get a little bit bigger. Right, thank you very much for watching once more. And we'll see you next time on Wilderness Adventures UK. Take care. Itchy beard. So, ramblings of a madman. I finished the other thing I was doing. Filmed it. The video will be up. Looked at the time. It's just gone half past one. Two o'clock. I'm going to go to the hardware store. B&Q as we know it in the UK. And I bought some more bits. Look. So I'm going to continue here now for a couple of hours, spend a bit of time with the trailer. I uh, had a few ideas before when I was messing about with the door. So uh, I'll take you over there. I don't know how I'm going to tie it into the video. It's either going to be bonus footage or I'll just tie it in and you'll never know any different. But uh, yeah, I will continue doing a bit of work and I'll bring you along for the ride. Light is starting to fade, as is my battery. Right, so what I've done so far is I've put this on. It's a bit of angle iron. I don't know if you can see that there. So when the door's open and is in the upright position, if any rain runs down, it's going to hit that hopefully. I've got some sticks all underneath, so it'll act as, as some silicone and it'll hit that and then hopefully it'll just miss and not run down the gap in the, in the roof, sorry, in the door and all over my back if I'm cooking. Um, the other thing that I've managed to do, this is going to be very, very boing, is we've lined the inside of the door. Uh, still needs uh, a few screws just to secure it, but I've been through so many drill bits, it's untrue. And the final thing that I've done is, as you can see, the famous words is I've, I've fitted the, uh, the stops, if you will, so nothing can fall out when I'm driving. Uh, I bought some hinges so I can crack on with the doors next time. Um, and I need to find out a way of, of keeping the door open at an angle. Gone over to the GoPro because the other camera's just gone flat. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, that's how it looks at the moment. I'm going to pan around. I'll try and piece in the bit of footage that I've just recorded before the other camera went flat. Uh, I've, all I've got left to do is I've got a little bit of angle iron. Oh, let me just balance this. A bit of balancing act. Pop that there. I've got a little bit of angle iron here. Uh, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to find a way of securing it on there somehow just so I can have a bit of wood in uh, just to hold the door open uh, I'm not going to do that tonight because it's getting quite dark I'm going to pack away all my crap which is everywhere and I'm going to call it a night so uh, farewell from WA UK once more and uh, yeah we'll see you next time thank you very much for tuning in please like share and subscribe bye bye everybody